Hello everyone, I'm Charles Curtis, the current president of the United States. Now this is an election year, so I won't be remaining here, but we will soon have quite a new leader, as you can tell from the uh, <clears throat> thumbnail. But anyways, we're currently engaged in a war in Republican Spain, really the entire Iberian country of Spain. But regardless, Charles Curtis, me, we're going to go bye-bye relatively soon to get to someone who might be considered a social democrat. Anyways, um, right now we're doing the focus, re-equipping our men because, well, we need to. That'll give us 5,000 more guns at the end of that focus, which we could really use when we get involved in foreign wars. Um, at the end of the last episode, I did show you that I was splitting off my navy and stuff, but I've already done that pretty much for the most part. So... Everyone, keep doing what you're doing. Go ahead and repair if you need to for now. We're also making a lot of garbage ships, which... Oh, I forgot to look at this last time. Um, garbage. Let's see, that's what we call that trash. More trash. 1936 destroyers. I'm going to keep those on. Uh, you can get rid of that. Get rid of this, because we already have another one, I think. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. Hold on. Subs. Let's keep... Uh, this one on because it costs the most. There we go. And then I'll address this. Roosevelt's finest, or first, tour. It's time for Roosevelt to decide where he would like to campaign first. Now, this is Quentin Roosevelt, Teddy's Roosevelt's son. Well, we want him to not be very popular, so he can go to the western states. Uh, destroyer. Yeah, we don't need this one. That's the one. I'm going to keep this on just because we already have them. I'll change these up soon enough. Um, yes, everything else is pretty much okay. If we had to build stuff, actually, actually build stuff, I def definitely would build a carrier. They're not great, but they're better than level 1 battleships, so. And you'll just deploy to East Texas because, why not? Cool. Awesome. Let the infantry move around. Where are my bad boys? Ah, uh, the American bad boys are here. They're trying to blow up some people here. We have some planes around here as well. Republican Spain, make sure you continue to guard your own areas. We do have air superiority. Those fools... In Spain, those actual Spaniards don't like having air superiority for some reason. An interesting quandary. Go ahead and kill off that division too, if you can. They have a total of four divisions here, which is an ideal, but Barcelona will probably fall if they can move fast enough. Awesome. Good job, guys. Good job. The goal to winning Spain in any, pretty much any mod is... To destroy your opponents, not push them back, just destroy them. So, Quentin Roosevelt, though, campaigns in Portland. He appeared in Portland today to a massive crowd, or massive crowds, stirred to action by his vigorous speeches, blaming the recent economic downturn on a penny-pinching government, unable or unwilling to protect the American worker. Roosevelt sought for equality among not just the sexes, but races, too. It seems too early exactly to gauge his reaction, or the reaction. The American worker feels supported. Middle class likes social equality. The rich love social justice. Let's go with the middle class likes social equality and the 1936 National Convention, which is very important. And we have the 4th of July, USA.31.D. In many ways, democracy was born here, and in, and here it must carry on. Nice. So, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Democratic National Convention is currently being held to decide who will receive the nomination of the Democratic Party in the presidential election of 1936. Though the previous several months has been an exceptionally turbulent and difficult time, the party is finally coming together to choose a person to represent them. Here we long, the longtime firebrand and thorn in the side of the typically conservative democratic establishment has secured a large following, though it has swayed back and forth since he announced his running for the candidacy. His opponent, John Nance Gardner, represents a conservative and more defense-focused portion of the party looking to the border with Mexico and its consuming tensions. Who now among them will take up the mantle? Well, I don't have Jan John Nance Garner on the thumbnail, so I'm probably going to go with the long. Social Democrat, long. Awesome. Very, very good. Come on, guys. Whip them into shape. Whip these bad boys. We've almost got them. Good. Good job, guys. Now, we want to make sure that these guys don't fall too quickly. And we're attack... We're, you know, basically on every front. We're attacking on every front. Or at least defending for us. Oh, the tanks are here. Very nice. I said that. That's like the third time I said that. But anyways, um, yeah, we're doing pretty well in Republican Spain. We took out quite a few enemy divisions around here. Oswald, Oscar Griswold's learning stuff, which is good. Um, you can probably come right here as well. 
Even though, oh, the Long's first door. It's time for Long to decide where he would like to campaign first. You know what? They haven't fallen yet, despite them losing most of their territory. Anyways, where is Long going to go first? Um, oh, we have Mobile Warfare. Nice. I would say that I want all of the East Coast under me. Uh, he, pff, they probably don't like me in the East Northeast, but how about we do that? I want the entire East Coast, because that sounds like fun. All right, so mobile warfare. Let's go to delay for more organization for infantry, motorized, and mechanized. And we can't really do much here, except we mm, we could start making some light tanks. It's kind of a waste of time, though. It's kind of a waste. Cool. So infantry, where are both of you at? You're moving down south. You've been cut off, so actually go ahead and give them the big baddie. Oh, maybe they haven't been cut off. No, they haven't been cut off yet. Have they? Oh, they have. Oh, oh no. Um, I clicked on something. Maybe I wasn't supposed to yet. Hopefully, that doesn't hurt my chances of being Huey Long. Um, is there anywhere we can really... You know what? We might just come right there. Let's go right up here. And circle and destroy. That's a policy. Oh, well, you guys already got encircled. That's good. Keep moving up, moving up. The Huey Long campaigns in Boston. Huey Long appeared in Boston today to massive crowds, stirred action by his vigorous speeches, blaming the ec recent economic downturn on the failure of the government to control the wealthy expenders on Wall Street and elsewhere. He has promised sweeping tax reforms and caps on wealth, as well as an extensive welfare program for the poor. Um, just, Wall Street has destroyed the poor for long enough. The government has failed according to the middle class. The tax reform must happen according to the rich. Uh, Wall Street has de destroyed the poor for long enough. Absolutely. Hopefully we can do the southeast as well. I want the entire east coast because it's where most of the population is. Even though we do have California to the left here, to the west. Hmm, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, let's go ahead and do some National Recovery Act. Curtis's, or my, last attempt at a political red redress of the Great Depression, the National Recovery Act, should at least stem the tide for now, which we get more consumer goods and more political power. Very good. Very, very bueno. Yeah, you can campaign out west, but Oregon doesn't have that much strength out there. Which is quite ideal. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna move you. They denied investments. The USA has refused to invest further in our military economy. I've refused to invest in myself. Now I know what that last event was. So when you start a Fear Reich, it's August, first six, seven months, you get an event saying that you can invest in the Russian Republic or not. And this is basically a consequent of that. I'm pretty sure I clicked on yes. Maybe not, maybe so. What a shame. But that always happens whenever I play Fear Reich. Um, as the United States, I say, sure, yeah, why not? It sounds like good. We could make some economic ties with each other. Well, they usually say no for some reason. Not sure why. Oh, well. Uh, where else could we make an exploit? Oh, maybe right there. Even though the line is pretty weak around here. Actually, we could have done something right there. But anyways, I want that long. But there's not much else we can do at the moment. So let's go ahead and get reorganized logistics. If we are to function with such a vast reserve of soldiers, we are going to need to redesign our current support structure from the ground up. We cannot rely on every man always having access to munition depots or other supplies. It's best we train them to conserve supplies as well as ensure that divisions themselves have adequate access just in case. We get more su less supply consumption and less out of supply. Visiting a new region. Quentin Roosevelt, you can do... You already did the, the, the west coast. Do the north central. Some of the least populous places, I guess, in the country. Oh, well, actually, I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, obviously, Illinois has got quite a bit because of Chicago. Wisconsin's got a little bit, but... The Northeast should have the most. Especially with New York here. New Jersey. Pennsylvania. Maine doesn't have very much. Well, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, we are attacking south. Interesting move. Especially over a river. Uh, I don't really want to break them. Okay, now come down. Hold on, hold on. Hold your smokerinos there. Good. Get down here. And Quentin Roosevelt campaigns in St. Louis. He appeared in St. Louis, and people like his vigorous speeches, is blaming the recent economic downturn on a penny pitching government. I've already read this. Um, the rich love social justice. Let's go with that one. You guys come down here. Cut that division off if possible. Very good, guys. Very good. And come right there. Hey, negative zero political power. Very good. Awesome. Uh, Republican Spain, you're looking great. And I do have a little bit, a wee bit, of uh, that black nectar. That sweet, sweet black nectar called coffee next to me. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna need two divisions to cut these guys off. I want you to move that way. Good. And... You can help take that guy out. That would be lovely. Or, visiting a new region. Huey Long has campaigned, or has enjoyed campaigning in the last few states, but he must move on to elsewhere. Well, let's do the southeast states, because oh, why not? It'd be a shame if I cut these guys off. Oh, that, they're about to get cut off too. Um, let's go ahead and do that. You guys keep these guys here for now. They're not quite encircled yet, that's okay. Oh, oh good, I guess we're getting attacked. Let's go ahead and hold for now. And you know what? I don't want to get encircled myself, so you guys can stop attacking and move up there. This division is completely encircled, which is very nice. And we have a couple extra dockyards. Very good. Um, this doesn't look too bad, especially with 240 political power. Anti-air we can put on later. Get some rapid-fire guns, rapid light cruiser batteries. Can we have a level 2? Yes, please. Can we get some more anti-air? That looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, this actually doesn't look too bad whatsoever. I don't like this because it hurts our reliability. I really don't like it, so... Uh, do sonar since I can't really do much else with it. Secondary batteries. This is actually a pretty good ship so far. Nice. Awesome. Um, oh, which one was it that I just made? I think it was this one I just made. So, make those bad boys. That's pretty darn good. Come to LA. You can both come to LA. It doesn't matter to me. Actually, I forgot. Before I even started working on this. Nothing there. Double better anti-air. Better engines. Yeah, do that. Just go ahead and replace that carrier. It's like has no work on it already, so do that. That'll be good. Um, if we have sh these garbage, oh, this is garbage. Torpedo two is at the very minimum for these level one submarinos. Um, I don't need this actually. Oh, I, do, I do, I do. That's destroyers. This is still uh, subbies. Where are my subby boys? What are you guys doing? Three so all right there. Ah, uh, who cares? Just do that. Go and upgrade. That's fine. Upgrade. I mean, they're probably all going to get destroyed in the end anyways. It really doesn't matter. So, I really don't care. Let them get to where they need to be. Uh, I will delay making cruiser holes in exchange for these upgrades, which probably aren't worth it, but whatever, I don't really care. Ah, so he would long campaign some Baton Rouge. It's almost like he's from Louisiana. He appeared in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is basically all the same stuff. Wall Street has destroyed the poor for long enough. The government has failed to act for the middle class. Eh, let's do the middle class, because why not? Even though it might be better to do poor right there, but whatever. Cool, cool, cool. Let you guys go ahead and destroy that division. Beautiful. The phalangists need to be taken out. More reorganized logistics, very good. Desegregate the military, guns over butter, communication privacy. Primacy. Um, well. Electronics for signal companies. I don't want to do this because we only have so many civilian factories, but let's do guns over butter because I could use those for more guns right now. We have the men we need. But we just do not have the ability to produce equipment for them fast enough. If we are to maintain the size of a military, a good military, we're going to need to convince some of the companies that it is in their best interest to produce military goods or military gear rather than civilian goods. Need more manpower. Uh, oh no, the London stock market crash. God help us all. Oh, London. Fueled by, uh, by fears of a shortage of goods and resources due to the ongoing revolt in colonial Africa and India. Well, India is fine right now. Africa it hasn't looked blown up either yet. Stock exchange continued very wildly. Oh, well, the effects of this will be felt worldwide. Thanks a lot, London. What what good is London when they just go crash? Um, go ahead and help guard the front line. We're gonna take these divisions out. How many divisions does Republican Spain have? Uh, ooh, Entente. Oh, they're part of the Entente. That, that's interesting. That's a good amount of manpower. Good number of divisions. You guys have less. About the same amount. We have more manpower, but fewer divisions, probably. And then, well, Spanish Popular Front, well, it's not so popular anymore. Go ahead, just kind of hold them here. They'll slowly starve off and die, so that's good. Good, 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 good. 
Uh, electronic mechanical engineering. Let's get some mechanical computing. It's still 1936, so don't feel too bad about that. We have a deficit of about 6,000 guns, 142 pieces of artillery, and 400 pieces of support equipment. I love it. The FISN has won the 1936 Italian election. Most important in the nation's history. Oh boy, Regno d'Italia. They have gone down the national path under Victor Emmanuel III. Oh my goodness, purge the socialists. Oh, a random state under socialist control will fall under syndicalist control. C cementing the movement. Oh boy. Reviving the charter of Carnaro. Carnaro. Alright, well that's cool. Italian foreign policy. Undermine Serbia. Oh, that's right, Serbia's kind of pretty big. They're not even Yugoslavia, they're just... Serbs. Probably with... It'd be weird if they don't have any debuffs. No, they don't have any debuffs. They're part of the Entente. Okay, well, well okay. Sure, whatever. Yeah, I guess. Sure, fair right, sure. Oh. Did we win? We has the one? Yeah, guarding that area. Oh, well, that's Portugal. Hold on. Guarding this would be very important. Who's going to capitulate first? The Spanish front, the Falangist Spanish, or the Monarchist Spanish? Ooh, Eisenhower, did you level up? You might have leveled up. You might not have, though. Mm, get more max planning, because why not? And now we have guns over butter. Good. Communication pr primacy. Do you have any other focuses besides stuff on the right? Oh, that's a lot on the right. Um, let's do communication primacy. With an army of this size, communication is key. Otherwise, it could easily become a case of the left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing because that's terrible. Uh, we usually use couriers, like the Courier 6, to get orders from one flank to the next, but that will be too slow and doesn't reach past our lines. Perhaps, of course, radio both in our command buildings and our divisions could potentially solve this with extra factories. Ooh, hello there. We're out of chromium and we're out of rubber. Just normal things. You don't even have an icon for naval bombers. Huh. Make more of that, then make more of this, and then make more of that. That will be very bueno. Ah, I love factories. What are we building? Factories. I love it. King Denmark declared war on the Hamburg Commune. That's pretty normal. Um, let him attack us. Chaos and Kiel. Yeah, another leftist revolution in Europe. Wait. They're leftists, right? 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 Hmm. Oh, we can encircle another division in there. Oh, uh, you just got encircled there. Oh, uh, we just got encircled here. Oh, my goodness. Well, if that's the case, move on back to Leon. Uh-oh, the Union of Albanian Worker Communes. So, y'all went socialist under a kind of a hefty boy, Enver Hoxha. Interesting. All right, well, that's cool. You guys keep doing what you're doing. These guys are cut off, which is great to see. Come on, kick them out of the area. Griswold, have you learned anything? You're becoming an infantry leader. We have dispersed industry. It's still 1936. Not too bad. Let's grab some synthetic refineries because I'm going to build a lot of those as the good old US of A. Leon, you have to go bye-bye. And I'm not even sorry about it. You must go bye-bye. Oh! Oh, hello there! The results of 1936 election. After a long day of voting, the elections have finally ended. The votes have been counted and the new president has been confirmed. The results are the following. I'm sorry, Charles Curtis, but we're replacing you with <clears throat> Social Democrat Long. So, Roosevelt, he still got... I campaigned in New York, or the Northeast. He still got New York, Pennsylvania, uh, Massachusetts, New Jersey. It was a waste of time coming up here. Uh, long, though, he got a lot of the Midwest. Illinois, Missouri, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, and then Alabama's in the South, as well as Louisiana, Washington. Oh, that's on the West Coast. Yeah, it's, it's pretty divided, actually. The USA has a new president. Cool. Actually, a lot of the votes... Actually... They got New York, 47. That's a lot of votes. 36, 26, 23. Long got Illinois with 29, and everything else is really small compared to everything else. Oh, okay, the U.S. Cool, who cares? We gain... Ah, oh, the presidency of the United States. Huey Pierce Long, the governor of Louisiana, and populist thorn in the side of American politics. That's officially been declared the inaugural president of the U.S. The first democratic president in more than three decades he comes into office promising wealth inheritance and economic reforms long soared into the white house on the heels of one of the most tense campaigns in american history speaking on tensions between mexico and the united states long declared that he was up to the task not a man who strikes first though many p political commenters have expressed their disbelief in such a statement regardless of the opinion of some 
Long's policies clearly resonate with the many, and it's hard to say exactly where the United States will go from here. Oh, we know where it's going to go. We know where it's going to go. Well, maybe you guys do. I, I kind of don't. We'll see what happens. Who knows? Uh, anyways, we need to check our ministers real quick. So we got Huey Long, of course. Daily political power gain. We get about one... We get about 0.6 a day. Ooh. Uh, we have Joseph E. Davies. Less political power. Slightly less consumer goods. And better trade deal... Um, opinion factor. A, a world patrician. We have Francis Townsend. More resources, less consumer goods that we can use. Production efficiency cap and growth. That's nice. Frederick Stiwer. He seems kind of bad. Health and safety. Less resources. More group of population. More consumer goods for us. Less construction speed and factory output. I don't like that in particular. But I can't really get rid of him, apparently, because they're all X's. And then we have C.G. Roberts. Research speed and decryption. Well, all we know, all I know is that we got the long dong in office, and that's good enough for me. Beautiful. Nationalized key industries. Wow. More consumer goods? Nice. Wait, I can reintegrate Luxembourg? Oh, I guess I can't. Demand of Valonia. There goes Brazil. Um, yeah, Brazil has exploded. Occupy the Canaries. Um, I don't think I can do any of that stuff. That sounds fun, but I don't think that's up to me to do all that. Go ahead and take them out. And Brazil has exploded. So, to my Brazilian viewers, there's civil war. Good luck. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate in a sea of, you know, pinkish reddish. That's unfortunate. That's pretty good, though. That's pretty good as well. Workers Republic of Bolivia. Communication primacy. Nice. I could desegregate the military so far, but we're going to wait. Um, Huey Long. Huey Long has won the presidency of the USA. 35 days, 50 more political power. Thank you very much. Expand or expansive welfare distribution. Hmm. Oh, I need more political power. I need to get to early mobilization next. Industrial company... Oh, I can build stuff faster. That's not bad. Air and naval manufacturer. Pretty generic. Tank stuff looks pretty generic. Uh, well, it literally says generic tank company and generic artillery company. Me weapons manufacturers. Not bad. I like that. I like that. A little bit of lag. That's okay. And I can't replace anybody here. Can replace head of government, obviously. Oh, they did not... Am I de not denying myself my own investments? What a shame. Military staff. Ooh. Armor. We might choose Jesse Posey just because we will use a lot of armor. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, we will be using him just because uh, you're pretty much locked down a certain path. Ooh, less supply consumption for more end defense instead of attack. That's not bad. Here we have Henry Lane. Oh, Fleet and Being. Oh. Wait. I can choose either one, right? Good. And then for the Air Force, oh, I'll have to choose which one. That's interesting. And we get a theorist. That's interesting. Might not use a theorist. It's not going to be super important for me to get the theorist done. Um, let's finish off at least one of these factions. Go ahead and just come up to a Coruña. Coruña. Ah, there goes Albania. Pretty good. Good job, guys. Southern agita. Uh oh. I, I don't. I don't like that. Go ahead and deploy those soldiers immediately. Uh, Mexico. I don't like what you're up to. We must defend the border. We're not going to build a wall. No, I'm not about building a wall. What I'm about is just just going straight into their, the country. There's no point to defend the place if you just take it over. And we will need to train these soldiers a little bit. Oh, MacArthur, do you have more upgrades? You're level 4. Uh, you're just politically connected for the most part. That's not bad. And I love aggressive assault for more breakthrough. Ah, oh, there goes Falanga Spain. Good job, guys. M3 Stewarts. Nice. I can't do this yet. It's 562 days ahead of time. That's okay with me. Air stuff, that'd be good to do. That would be really, really good stuff to do. It's, still 19, it's almost 1937. Grab some bar and stoke some mortar for now because we're currently using infantry. Good job, guys. You deserve a pat on the back. Um, These guys have to die. But it... Oh, you guys got encircled in some areas. That's not good. No, no, no. Good. That'd be good. How are the planes doing? More bombers? Or are these fighters? These are fighters. More f bombers, please. Like a single bomber will make a massive difference. Doesn't matter. Still gonna do it. Good as a Mora, so you're not encircled. And... Good! Here we long! Good job, guys. Bridge the class gap. Long has attempted to commit the current political 
crisis is solving the looming monopolism in the U.S. Very good. I what I do like about Fear Reich is that you can issue more factories. That's pretty cool. And dockyards, nationalized key industries. That's not bad to take for 210 days. Social democracy improve working conditions for more stability. Weekly stability goes up by 0.5 for 180 days for half a year. I think that's probably worth it. Let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I could have chosen some, something else. I could have gone actually instead of the early mobilization, which might have been better, honestly. But it's only 5% more consumer goods for us, and 20% construction speed gets better. Whatever. I, it, I'm going down that path anyways, eventually. Cool. You guys come over here. Oh, they, maybe not. Maybe not. You guys are surrounded, so you guys come up here, actually. Cut that division off. Take that land. Good, good, good. But that stability, that's going to come in handy. That's going to come really in handy. Oh, good. Zamora's been not cut off. Destroy the divisions before you move on. Deficit? Well, not talking about economic deficits, but artillery is getting a little worse, actually. But then again, I did deploy some divisions a little bit too early. Whatever. I needed to do that. Good job, guys. Good job. Go and help out. Take, take out that division for now. Good, good, good. 44% popularity. Stability is going higher. War sports getting higher. Population. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Go ahead and move on in, guys. If you can. You will come this way, though. You will come here. Ah, bridging the class gap. More stability and production efficiency cap. Let's get... I am for the poor, man. I love the description of this, but we get more efficiency cap. Go ahead and, and circle and say goodbye to them. Beautiful. Madrid, goodbye. Oh, Mexican and nationalist attack border area, USA.23.D. Try to defuse the situation. Declare martial law in the affected region. I lose manpower and political power. Um, West Texas. You know what? I lose less things. That's kind of okay with me. Our border isn't extremely strong right now, which is quite unideal. Let's try to defuse the situation. Let's look like the good guys. I want to look like the good guys for now until we actually, you know, backstab them. You know, whatever. Um, not bad. Set you to low. Uh, you know what? We probably really don't need all these extra planes for now. Naval bombers we don't need for now. We'll make those later on. Naval bombers, thank you. Gotta keep an eye on Mexico. They're fairly strong right now. And we really don't have enough divisions to help hold the entire front line, so. Get to the front. Uh, actually, I should probably deploy you down here. Just in case things go south. Because they could, they could actually be, potentially take me out if I don't think about my Coast Guards that much. Warhawk sentiment. The argument for war continues to gain strength. Guys, guys, like, like. We like being Warhawks and all, but we don't have the strength for that right now. The economy, well, it's it's doing okay, but it's not great. Go to Seville. End this pesky conflict. Actually, do I need to move my planes up? I might need to. Move them up there. That'd be good. There you go. Get, my, uh, get th those areas, those victory points. Very nice, very nice. Yep. Go ahead and, ahead and hold. I wonder how close they are to capitulating. They should be fairly close. I mean, I've taken out their two main capitals. Good. Oh, we actually made that our... Well, the Republic of Spain... Wait. Wait, hold on. You're the capital of something. How do you serve the capital? That doesn't make any sense. Go ahead and stop them from moving. Move over here and come and take Cordoba. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move immediately to early mobilization for more factories. We can produce some more stuff. I am, though, for the poor.
poor man. Now we can tread water or foreign policy. Treading water. Let's remove National Recovery Act. Which doesn't seem like a good idea for me. Honestly, let's keep that there for now. I think that'd probably be better for now. Defend the interior. Defend the border. Let's do foreign policy. So, it is time for the U.S. to return to the world stage. We have kept ourselves off of it, and for good reason. In these grave times, however, we will need all the help we can get from ourselves, or otherwise we can get, of course. Um, this probably this might be a bad idea. This might be a terrible idea. I don't know. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and continue building up more military factories. Go to Manila, Illinois. We're going to build up civilian factories as well as military factories at the same time. I need factories. Uh, where did my other division go? You're right there. You're right there. Oh. One simple thing could end the Spanish military. Uh, it's 1937. Let's grab some more output. Dispersed Industry 2. Very good. Good. Cut these guys off. Go ahead and give them hell, boys. If you could push these guys out, that would be great. But maybe you can't. Ah, they're encircled. I think the Republicans are probably going to win in this Spanish Civil War. Which is one of the first times I've ever seen them do that. Which is quite delightful. Quite, quite delightful. Eisenhower, you're, you're a great general. Oscar Griswold, you've become an infantry expert. Good for you, my friend. Uh, go ahead and take out Granada, Ameria, Lorca, Mur Murcia. Obviously, as you can probably tell, I don't speak Spanish. Ah, there they go. Good job, guys. And last, but definitely not least, I thought these guys would capitulate the first. The Spanish Popular Front. That's what we need. More guns, more artillery, more support equipment. Mexico, do not escalate. Do not escalate. Protectorio Esperanza. Lower monetary rates. They denied investments. Why am I de denying myself, man? They're Valkists. Evil Valkists. Basta. Uh, oh, there goes. There they go. Not so rapid industrialization. Militias. Interesting. Planes. Where do I have extra planes deployed? Nowhere. I had planes here in Spain. But, uh... Where do they go? What to do? Ah, foreign policy. Nice. Just in case, <clears throat> I want to deploy some extra planes, but I don't see anywhere where we have extra planes. Go ahead and do that. Deploy and defend the interior so, or defend the border. We will be waiting for more speed. Democratic traditions for more stability could be very nice. Mili we don't need more manpower. We can wait to desegregate the military for now. Um, Treading water. Oh, I kind of don't like that. It only takes 35 days, though. <clears throat> I like that construction speed bonus, so that can come in handy. Ooh, research speed. Oh, oh. Less consumer goods, or more construction speed. Education reform, or support the entrepreneurs. No, I'll, we'll do it anyways. So much talk in Washington, so little action. With a new president, perhaps a disaster can be turned around. Yes, this hurts, hurts us by getting rid of buffs for us in the current moment, but whatever. That's a necessary evil. Oh, actually, don't do that. You. And then you do that. Good. Tell you all to repair. You can do that. Uh, ships don't need that much repairing. Got a lot of naval XP, which is very nice. So how is Spain doing now? I know Portugal is in a civil war with the kingdom. Ah, oh, very good. Very good. Ah, oh, they kind of like us. Just a little bit. Mechanical computing, very good. Continental Entente. Oh, Nationals Italy still in there. And let us do Computing Machine next. Very good. Actually, was that the right time to do it? Ooh, no, actually, that was not the right time to do it. Whoops. Uh, do this instead. Yeah, that'd be fine. Cool. Continental Entente looks pretty good. Germany. I've not looked at Germany at all. They're the Socialist Republic. Led by Allgemein Deutsche Gewerkschaftsbund. Oh, they're libertarians. Fervent revanchism. Oh, no, they went down. Oh, they have a generic focus street. Oh, that's so bad. Why? How did the Czech state get demobilized? In there? Oh, no, what did I do? How did you do this? Why? No, you were supposed to be interesting. Oh, the Valkyrie mod has gotten weird. It's gotten weird. 
But anyways, that's pretty much all the time for that we really do have today, my friends. Tomorrow we will choose a new focus. We might end up in a war against Mexico. I don't know. We really have to prepare ourselves, though, because we're not doing very well. But anyways, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will make America whole again. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.